Welcome to Mass of Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Beer. Already opened beer. Why? Because sometimes I forget to hit record. Um, and sometimes I do the whole review and I'm really proud of myself because I thought it was really well done. And then I go, wait a minute, you didn't hit record. And then I go, you know what, let's do a quickie and not really be long drawn out like I typically am. Hill Farmstead Dorothy Table Dorothy. Um, this is the table version of the Dorothy. Um, I reviewed that previously. You want to go check that out. You're more than welcome. Maybe I'll link it below. So it's a low ABV ver version of Dor Dorothy, which is a Farmstead Pale Ale. So it's a dr um, dry hop pale ale, low ABV, 4.5%, and it is bottle conditioned. So it's been aged for a while. And it is exactly what you'd expect from a table pale ale. Do you know what I mean? Especially like a uh, European slash farmstead kind of ale. It comes off a little bit more saison but it has that haziness, white as white could be going on in that actual head. As far as the nose goes, all the citrus are on us, but I think you're getting it from a couple different directions here um, because it is an aged hop beer. You know, obviously it's bottle conditioned for almost a year, so this hop's been sitting in there for almost a year. Um, you're getting a citrus in hops. I, I think that's definitely the case here, but I think a bulk of your citrus is coming from the yeast here. Anytime I get a huge citrus component, I'm almost positive I'm getting it done from yeast. Uh, I automatically go towards Brett C because that's most likely the case and it's definitely the case here just pineapple and citrus just this bright citrus spritzy summer like you know you squeeze the orange you squeeze the lemon you squeeze the grapefruit and that spritz goes in the air that's how the aromatics that's how the citrus kind of comes off in this malt bill you know a nice kind of slightly peppery almost spelty like kind of spiciness to it uh, maltiness a little bit of wheat a little bit of barley kind of thing going on there it, it just comes off as summer in the glass, at least aromatically. And this acidity that I I, I um, associate with Hill Farmstead a ton, which is this kind of imbalance with your body pH level kind of acidity. Cheers, y'all. I don't mind redoing this review. I'll redo it a couple different times. Um, it is summer in a glass. Very much summer in a glass. Very much... I don't want to say Straight Hill Farmstead. E, but that's the case. I mean, and honestly, if I'm going to start to talk about the beers like this, it's going to, it's going to have a very similar vein. You know, it's going to be like, oh, it's Widowmaker-y. It's, uh, it's uh, suarez -y, You know what I mean? It's... Uh, who, what's the other one? Um, Widowmaker. Jesus. Wonder Camera, sorry. Um, you know, those kind of beers um, that people have brewed in Hill Farmstead before. It just has this, again, that pH balance thing is very, very in play here. It's probably a little bit more aggressively acidic, and we're talking microns here, than that pH balance that is neutral to your body. So it's not tartar acidic, but it's a little bit more above that. But again, we're kind of nitpicking hairs here. But it really is the combination of the way the yeast, the malt, and the hops play here. Um, because it is this kind of very, very beautiful interplay between... Let me move this fan. My, my camera's getting a little hot under the collar. My machine's even working. Anyway, hopefully it keeps to the end, because I'm not going to do this third time, even though I said I would. Um, it has this just a staunch malt bill. That wheat malt combination. Uh, just is there, it has this little bit of spiciness to it, as this little bit of heft to it, but at the same time staying light. Um, the yeast portion of the show, you know, bringing those citrus vibes, bringing those Brett C vibes, taking and grasping onto what those hops gave and helping prop that back up. The hops bringing a little bit of spiciness, a little tannic like herbalness to it from being an aged hop, from having that little bit of spiciness and then circling back on the maltiness that has this little bit of something to it and kind of propping that up. It's almost like a three-pronged approach that works together in concert. That brings not just a very tasty beer, but one of the better, you know, farmstead, farmhouse, farm, whatever you want to call it, pale ales. Because it is very much different than what you'd expect from a typical pale ale. Listen, it's bottle conditioned for a year. It's not what you would, most people would assume a pale ale would be. But if you know Hill Farms and what they do, and you know what the what the farmhouse slash farmstead um, moniker brings to a beer, it very much is that, and it's 
you know, absolutely delicious. It just drinks like a dream. It could be something I could sit here and talk about on camera, um, but it also could be a sidecar to a very relaxing night. That's why I picked it. You know, I, uh, it's it, tonight is Christmas. My fatherly duties are over. I'm settling in and watching a little bit of football, probably play video games, really will relax, and I wanted something that I could sip on, and a 750 of this definitely foots the bill. So, yeah, very, very citrus forward, but very much in a yeasty slash agent hop kind of way. Beautiful malt combination, and a very, very tasty beer. Isn't one of the better farmhouse pails that as late? Yes, Matt Rushford says. Uh, valued availability, I forget. I got this in a six-pack I want to say the average cost across the board may be $12 to $15 a bottle, give or take. I have no qualms with that. And leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like Farmstead Head Pale Hales, hoppy forward beers um, with that cool kind of uh, Brett C kind of um, not typical generic yeast kind of profile to it and a very well-balanced acidic beer that drinks absolutely beautifully. <laughs> Get a dig on it, man. If you like, you know... Hill Farm said you'd dig it, but you hopefully it's coming across the kind of beer that this is. If you dig those, you'll dig that. Saison, if you like Farmhouse Saison, I think this has more in common with that than a pale ale, but you'd definitely see the pale ale moniker come through here. Anyway, there you go. Quickie review on the books. Not so quick. What are we at? Five minutes or so? Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Um, Hill Farm said, have you been to the brewery? Have you had their beers? Have you had this beer? Have you had base Dorothy? And have you had this table with Dorothy? And more particularly, is this vintage? Any of that stuff. Let's talk about it down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little hill right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.